Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am so happy that weekly vlogs are back in. If you guys didn't check out um, my Instagram story, basically I actually went on there and I asked you guys what activities you wanna see me do in Vancouver, or at least anyway, for weekly vlogs, because I think I just need inspo, like ideas, or whatever you guys have been wanting to try. I will go try it out for you and kind of like do them for you and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I sort of need like, inspiration to be better at having fun in my own city because if you guys didn't know or if you're new to my channel basically I have the most severe level of ADHD you could ever imagine in a person and part of that symptom if you will. I don't know, it could be a downside or it could be an upside. I like to think of it as an upside, but the downside is that it's like very unstable. But essentially you get bored very easily. And because of that, I'm constantly like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Or like, I just need to, like, I'm like so antsy. I can't like sit still. I just need to be like grounded. You know what I mean? Part of that is trying to kind of like find more joy in staying in the city that I'm in. And the reason why I'm staying in Vancouver is because I'm staying here long due to a lot of like health related reasons. So number one, I'm like waiting for one of my results for something, which I'm hoping I can elaborate at some point. I just don't want to talk about it at this very moment or share too early. The second one is I'm getting a new set of Invisaligns. So I'm waiting for that new set to come in. So I might as well just stay here till the end of the month until they come in and we'll kind of see what happens with that. Another reason is because even if it wasn't for all these things going on, I don't know if you guys have heard, but it is terrible in Toronto right now. They have lockdown until January 31st, which is actually coming up. So I could go home like after that. But then also it is like the coldest it's ever been in Toronto. There's like so much snow. So I'm just not that eager to go home. So I'm just kind of killing time being here right now. I wanted to share what I am doing right now because I feel like it's quite like, I don't know, some people might find it interesting. And if you don't, then go watch another vlog. Okay, also, because some people have commented, they're just like, oh my God, I think there's like someone behind you. No, that is me, that person right here, this is me. I'm just in my like gym slash office room. If you guys haven't checked out the tour last year, I like did this whole renovation thing for my parents, which you can check out. Basically, what I'm currently doing right now is, if you guys remember from last vlog, I went to Chilliwack. By the way, everyone needs to go to Chilliwack. It's such a cute little town, like such a great little getaway. Like, I don't know, I just, I feel like everyone should go visit. Anyway, there's a location in Abbotsford and Chilliwack called The Bookman. I am obsessed with that store. First of all, in The Bookman, you can like buy secondhand books, which is what I did. And I bought all these books that I have like absolutely loved. So one of my favorite authors is Louise Hay. And I bought her books for literally $6. $6 because they're secondhand. And if you bring them back, you can get trading credit. So I guess that's why it's like so cheap because it is like secondhand, obviously. So another book that she wrote is called Colors and Numbers. This is what it looks like. Maybe you're new here and don't know this, but I've been very into like astrology, spirituality, numerology, all of the ologies or whatever. In this book, it's like telling you to calculate your colors and numbers, like your personal year, personal month, personal day. And I'm literally like in front of my laptop, like doing all this work. I'm just so excited because I'm just very into this stuff. If you guys are also new to numerology or stuff like that, the first thing that I ever did or calculate was like my life path number, which you basically add up your year, month, and date. For example, I am born in 1994. My birthday is April 3rd. So you add up all the numbers. Numbers. Then after that, the goal is you have to get a single number. So all of those numbers combined, if it adds to two more numbers, you add those two numbers together to get you a single number. And I believe my single number is three. So I'm life path three. And if you read up on your life path, it is so true. Like for example, my life path has something to do with like being like either in writing, which by the way, this is how this brand started. I like wrote in a blog or like in media or like vlogging or video video content or whatever. And I was like, the heck? Like I literally did this only last month. So it's not like I searched this up and decided to pursue this as a career, but I just thought that was so interesting. But everyone needs to check that out. Yeah, so I'm kind of like doing that right now. I think this week I'm gonna try to take some of the suggestions that you guys have given me and try to have like a very fun, exciting week just as last week. I think the two things that are set in stone for this week is I am going snowboarding twice again. I'm gonna go once with Eric and I think once I'm actually 
actually gonna go by myself just on my own but yeah we'll see how that goes and i'm so excited to show you guys this week okay guys it is now dinner time and my asian parents made burgers homemade what in the world Hi guys, okay, it's me again. Originally, I was already gonna end this section of the vlog, but I finished this book, Colors and Numbers. Basically, I was doing my calculations, and this year for me in 2022, it's different for everybody, but this year for me, my personal year is four as a personal year, and I'm actually dying because it means that the year before was number three. So, as you know, if you guys watch my reflection video, or like setting up for the new year, I literally said this, okay? And you know I didn't get this book and then made that video because y'all watched me buy this book in Chilliwack. But remember how I said this year for me? Like I, like I had too much fun last year, a little bit went you know, over the rails and just like, I don't know, I think I was just like trying to make up for, you know, all the years I was in a toxic relationship, like whatever. And then, so last year I was like compensating for all of like the lack of fun I had. And then this year I'm like, okay, okay. I had enough fun. I'm gonna get to work, okay? Now listen to this. This year as like the number four personal year the keyword is practical now it's time to get back to work be productive and organized avoid being lazy blah blah and i'm like great that was literally my goal this year so then out of curiosity i was like reading the year before because that would have been last year so number three as a personal year <clears throat> keyword enjoyment this is your year for fun See, people who don't believe in numerology, astrology, and stuff like that, like, I'm just literally, like, I don't know how to help you then. Like, I can't make this shit up. Like, I, I'm i actually just, like, so shook. Like, I'm even reading this. Entertain, go to parties and gatherings, take vacations and holidays. The influence this year is social and artistic. Express yourself creatively as much as possible. Laugh, sing, dance. That was the description of my 2021, which, by the way, is not going to be my 2022. And the book had already predicted this. Like, I'm actually shook. Anyway, everyone get this book or at least like do your numerology homework. It's actually so fun and yeah, it's just, it's kind of entertaining. Good morning guys. Today is Monday and it's also a new day. I know you can't tell because I'm wearing the same thing. Oh, maybe because I'm not wearing makeup and my hair looks like a mess. But the reason why I wanted to come on here is because I got some packages and I wanted to unbox them for you. But especially this one here because I've been literally waiting for this package for like the entire month because it's my planners for the new year and January is almost over. So I'm just so excited to finally, finally get them. So these guys are from Still Classics. They did gift this to me. I am so stoked. I believe they gifted me like, oh, I forgot to cut this part. That was 100% my fault. I believe they gifted me a planner and a workbook, I believe. I'm gonna find out in five seconds. So you open it up and this is what you see. Oh my God. Guys, am I getting old or like, or no, 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 no. It's not that I'm getting old. I am getting responsible. Okay. As y'all know, I have like the most severe level of ADHD, if you can't tell by my energy. So I'm like constantly disorganized. Trying to get organized for me is like trying to get a fish to climb a tree, like, you know? So I'm trying very hard though. Like I am determined that in 2022, I will be organized. So I definitely needed all of these. So let me show you what is in this package. First of all, I love the card. It's a company for women, by women. And yeah, it's so cute. Okay, I got all of these stickers. First of all, stickers, I love them. Oh wait, there's so many stickers. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. And then, okay, this is the workbook. <gasps> I'm so excited because this is my current workbook, you guys, as you may have seen this already because I bought this last year at Chapters, but this is my current workbook and I'm almost done. It's like up to here now. It's the combination of a workbook and a journal. I like try to write all the important things in my life um, and journal through them and then Hello, baby. This is the planner. Oh my god. I'm so stoked. 
I'm obsessed with planners and I don't like digital planners. Okay, I have to have paper planners. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've literally been waiting for this package for a little too long. Like this is the first time, I'm not even joking you, where I'm literally having my eyes peeled on a tracking thing. And the last time I checked, it was like in Richmond and I'm like, when is it gonna get to me? So this planner, ooh, okay, I really like this. There's like all these things on the side for the months. And I'm gonna start using this literally right now. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, so let's just take a look here. Wow, there's even a plan playlist. There's even a vision board inspo, rituals and routine. <gasps> I love this. Guys, I'm gonna literally spend the next like 10, no, 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 I was gonna say 10 minutes, oh my God. Also not 10 hours, but I'm gonna spend the whole day jotting all of this down. I am so so stoked. Once I get started, maybe I will do this live or I'll do it live afterwards. But um, yes, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Still Classics, for sending this to me. I've never been so excited for a package. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another day. To be honest, I don't 100% feel like myself right now or feel beautiful at this very second. But ironically, that made me want to come on here a little bit more because I don't know, just want to keep it real on here, you know? It is actually very late. It is currently almost 9 p.m. I just took off my skincare from this morning and putting on skincare again to put on some makeup because I'm going out. Can someone answer this in the comment section? Like, if you put on skincare the whole day and you're going out and you have to put on makeup you don't just layer makeup on right because like now your skin has like been oily throughout the day you don't just like put makeup on right i had to take it off and basically reapply my skincare just so i don't know i don't feel like i'm like putting makeup on top of oil or grease anyway right now i'm using this serum it is one of my leftover serums here as you can see i'm basically almost done i'm like scraping the end of it, but I really, really enjoy the serum. It's from Caudalie and it's just really nice. I actually got two bottles and I'm almost done this first bottle. So anyway, I want to talk about um, today and also what is going to happen today, but essentially today as you're watching this, it will no longer be, but today in real time is actually Bell Let's Talk Day. And in Bell Let's Talk Day, it's like, if you guys, especially you're not living in Canada, essentially what it is, is Bell is actually a huge telecommunications company. Also the company I used to work at before I quit my job. Anyway, so they're a huge telecommunications company and um, they're really, really big on mental health. So they do this Bell Let's Talk Day once a year where if you like turn off your iMessage, every text message, if you're with Bell, they send five cents to a mental health initiative. So I believe before it's always Cam H. I could be wrong. Yeah, you can do that. And obviously it's like a good opportunity to, for you to share your stories. Usually I share my ADHD story, anxiety, etc. And it's always in like an Instagram post. But today I decided to just share the episode of my podcast that we talk about ADHD because um, it was just like a way easier way of telling my full story. And plus it's already recorded. If you're watching this and you have not heard about my ADHD story, head on over there. And yeah, I'm very transparent about my mental health issues. And did you know it's one in five people suffer from mental health? So everyone needs to be more transparent about it. I'm always very transparent about therapy. So you can ask me if you have any questions. Also, I just want to share this new cream I'm using also. It's by First Aid Beauty. This is a different one, okay? So the one you're used to seeing me use is this one. And this one, look, okay, first of all, look at how big it is on my face. And then look at how much I've used. Like, I've literally used this much. And then this one, which I'm also like halfway through is their new firming collagen cream they actually paid me for a sponsorship for this product not for this video but for Instagram. All of my partnerships are authentic, but I love when my partnerships are products that I already have used. So it's not like I have to give them like, okay, you got to give me X amount of time to test it. It's like, no, 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 we don't even need to test. Let's just go right ahead because it's like, I love those partnerships because it's like, I don't need to like see if I like it. Like we can just get right to the program, you know? So today why I'm getting putting on my face or I'm just only putting it on a little bit. And I'm just looking around because I'm still getting ready. As you can see, the ADHD is already shining through. But basically I'm getting ready because I have like a mini high school reunion. We're doing um, happy hour at Cactus Club. So we're going at like 9.30. <gasps> 
actually, I just remembered, I think Cactus Club canceled their nighttime happy hour. Either they did that and nobody in this group knows or they only did it for Toronto and they actually still have happy hour for Vancouver. But anyway, I'm meeting up with all the dudes, like all of my guy friends from high school because all of my girlfriends from high school, either I'm not friends with them anymore, <laughs> refer to toxic friendship. I think we put that up. Did we put that up? Maybe we didn't. So either I have cut off a lot of people from my life or a lot of them actually just don't live in Vancouver right now. And especially since this is like non-Christmas time, like nobody is really here in Vancouver. Like everyone has moved away. Most of what's remaining in Vancouver during this time, like non-Christmas hours is like my guy friends. I'm gonna be seeing them today. And it's really funny because the amount of makeup I put on when I see like people and especially like guys is significantly less than what I put on and how much I try for the camera. When I put on makeup for either an Instagram photo or either like monthly review video, it is just so much more than what I actually put on outside which is why sometimes like okay this is not true but i was gonna say like sometimes i'm scared to like meet you guys in person which is actually not true because i love meeting you guys this doesn't happen that often but like whenever someone does say hi i get so excited like i think i look calm but inside i'm like ah like I'm like, yay, like someone said hi to me. Anyway, I try to keep it cool and casual, but like if you're watching this, just know I'm like screaming on the inside. Sometimes I'm like scared to meet you guys for the first time in real life because I just like, I feel like the impression I would give off is like, wait, Lisa's a freaking fashion vlogger. Like I feel like it would be such a joke because the effort that I put in on like a day-to-day -day basis just does not reflect my content online, okay? I feel like that could be a good thing, like me coming out and telling you guys that because it's like, don't believe in social media. I feel like my Instagram, especially visually, like if you don't watch my stories, if you just look at my feed, it's very heavily curated. I put on the makeup. I like wear uncomfortable clothing. No, actually no, most of my clothing is so comfortable, but like I'll wear like slightly more uncomfortable clothing and stuff. In real life, I'm actually like, like this even every day like i put on way less makeup going to a nice dinner than when i like post a picture on instagram so just letting you guys know so if you guys do meet me in real life and i'm in like full-on sweats with like i don't know my eyebrows like half done don't be shocked okay i'm telling you now um don't be shocked just embrace it or actually, I think the worst is if you think that is me trying, but photos just make it look better, which is like even worse because it's like, did you Photoshop? Like, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're going to Cactus Club. I'm very excited to show you guys um, and for you to meet my guy friends. Okay, hi everyone. We are currently at Cactus Club and I'm actually on a date right now with Wilson. Say hi. <laughs> Did you dress up for me? Or, uh, I don't know. Does it feel fun to dress up? <laughs> Say hi, this is Sean. This is Sean's girlfriend, Nikki. Say hi. And we just ordered our drinks. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy Should have said happy birthday, Grandpa. Oh, happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Friday. I had to drop off my mom at work today because I needed the car and as you guys know, I already shipped my car to Toronto. But now I'm on my way to meet up with Michelle and we are gonna do my favorite activity in the entire world, which is going to Joe Forte's for happy hour. If you guys are visiting Vancouver, you guys definitely need to try out going to Joe Forte's, especially for their happy hour because so as I was saying, if you guys are new to Vancouver, I'm sorry if this is crooked, but this is the best I can do right now. If you guys are visiting Vancouver, you definitely need to hit up Joe Forte's. Their regular menu is really, really good. The sable fish is really good, but I haven't tried like that many sable fishes across Vancouver, but I have heard from my friend Rock that apparently it is the best sable fish in the entire city. <gasps> okay. 
You want to cut me off? I actually have to drive because this is not a self-driving car. But regardless, point is, you definitely need to check out the happy hour because their regular menu does not serve lobster rolls and the oysters are only $1.50. So I definitely think it is worth a checkout. I've gone to the Joe Forte's happy hour a million times and I will continue to go a million times because it is honestly the best happy hour in town. Today, because we are in Vancouver, it is like eight degrees. I can't believe this is their winter. Like, why did I ever move out of Vancouver? I just know that right now there's a ton of snow in Toronto and it's apparently like negative 20 degrees or something uncomfortable. Knowing this, I am purposely wearing a skirt today because like obviously it's still colder than skirt weather but I'm just gonna tough it out and do it because I just will not have this type of winter if I go back to Toronto. It's so funny because I don't know if you guys know but I'm actually Taiwanese. My mom has a saying in Taiwanese and I'll say it in case anybody is Taiwanese here. It's not Mandarin. So like a lot of Taiwanese people speak Mandarin, but Taiwanese is like another traditional dialect that Taiwanese people speak. Anyway, I'm gonna say it in case anyone is Taiwanese here. You guys are gonna find it freaking hilarious. But basically the saying is, I sweet mgya. I have an accent, I know, whatever. Anyway, the point is the direct translation of that saying is when you like to be pretty and you're not scared of having a runny nose. Basically, it's like you would rather be pretty than to be warm is pretty much what it means. And before, whenever my mom says that to me, I'm always like, whatever or like I try to deny it and I'm like I'm not cold or whatever but I have grown as a person and now whenever she says that to me I'm just like yeah that's me guilty as charged <laughs> I'm fucking cold but I'm gonna go outside like this anyway this is like almost the opposite I feel like there's two scenarios either you're cold because of your outfit or you're extra hot because of your outfit because of like a jacket or like this coat just like goes with the whole fit and I have been in both situations and I'm okay with it because now I'm more self-aware and it's just like you know why deny who I am at this point I am like almost 28 this year so anyway I'm very excited to show you guys my outfit later I've been filming a lot more content so hopefully you guys have been seeing that on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram if you guys are following me there make sure you do yeah I will show you guys Joe Forte's Okay, turns out we can't go to Joe Forte's because it is full. So we are going to coast now, which is right along Albertney Street, which we obviously love because that is theory, which is where I get all my almond croissants. And then this is coast. This is actually my first time going. So I'm actually very excited. Hi. Hi. This is my first time at coast. It's so Oh my gosh, it is so bougie. This is the happy hour menu and this location is actually till 5.30, so I'm very excited. Yay, this is actually a pretty good menu. Thank you. Oh wait, this one's mine. All right, cheers. We just finished at Coast. What are your thoughts? Because it was both of our first okay. times, right? Mixed reviews. Okay. I feel like the atmosphere was good. Yes. The calamari was not what we thought it was. Oh my god, the calamari was not squid. It was like very it was soft. Like squishy, like squishy in a non-cheery way. Yes, yeah. it was very, it felt like fish. But anyway, we just went to get some Starbucks and now we're gonna shop Robson. It's so pretty in the winter time. Hi, I just finished shopping and we're heading to D6 and I just met Billy! What's up? Yo! This is my first time meeting Billy IRL. It's a Taiwanese thing, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah we gotta Yo, I feel like we've been like online dating or something because we just like <laughs> keep talking to each other. I'm so happy that I met you. Now we're gonna have a good night. I know, Woo! yay! Okay, so we're Where going we to going? D6. I think it's down this way, yeah. And what else are we doing today? Is that all we're doing? No, we're gonna get drunk. Responsibly drunk. And you're not driving home tonight, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're doing shots. Oh my god, yeah, I'm so excited. Teresa introduced us. Wait, how did we even end up following each other? I don't even remember. Honestly? Oh, podcast. I like watch your podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Billy is Taiwanese. Yeah. This is the best part. This is how you connect, yes. like immediately. Okay, we're gonna show you D6, which I already showed you last week, but we're back again. This is pretty much coming from the other side. Last time we walked this way, and then 
Yeah, we're at D6. Is this a speakeasy? What? And then this is our table. So nice. And we were there last time. Risa's here. Smile. Yay. Cheers. Okay, we had to leave D6 because they had a reservation coming in, but that's okay. We're going to the Flying Pig, right? Let's go. Yay. Yay. We're taking Charissa's car because she has a nicer car. <laughs> <laughs> and also less of a walk, but here we go. Okay, we are in the heart of Yale Town now. <laughs> this is the street with all the great restaurants. So, Flying Pig, here we come. If you guys have never been to so Flying at, Pig, honestly, the food is so good and happy hour should not disappoint. I hope not. Here you go, Flying Pig. Let's go. Flying Pig. <laughs> Yay, cheers. And we are doing Dine Out Vancouver with Teresa and her friends. So we're eating here. What's this restaurant called again? The Boat Shed. The Boat Shed. This is so cute. Oh my god, this is so intimate. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm and then so there's excited. A drink menu on the table, and I'll bring you guys some water. Okay, thank you. This is our table setup. So cute. Outside. Say hi everyone! <laughs> Yay! Okay, and then they gave us a speaker. We're just trying to determine what kind of music to yeah, play right I'm now. Put, like dinner chill. Ooh, first course. I don't know what I ordered. I honestly forgot, but this looks good. Cheers, ladies! Hey, cheers! Cheers! Oh my god, this looks so good. 